Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another session. Um, Cerebral TV Instagram live chat. And uh, this afternoon, we have joining us a very, very big celebrity. Somebody who we all love. Somebody who has made a name for herself in her chosen field. Um, we are hosting the one and only queen of juju music in Nigeria, Queen Ayobalogun. Uh, she's going to be our guest this afternoon, and she's going to be talking about COVID-19 lockdown and how she has, um, what she has lost. I mean, I guess in the last one month or so, um, she's not been able to uh, play at functions, since there are no functions. So how has she been coping? How has she been keeping safe? She's going to be sharing with us her own thoughts on um, life in Nigeria at a time like this. And I'd like to welcome um, all of us. Jamon Jewelry CEO, good afternoon. Tunisom, good afternoon. Buki Baby, good afternoon. Thank you, Buki. She has, attend she has been part of all our um, conversations in the last one month. Asimiyu, Muti uh, Olaliri, welcome on board. Mukwilola has just joined us. How are you, my sister? Big Joe. Honey Sam has joined us. Hebziba has also joined us. Good evening, my sister, Queen Ayobalogun. Good evening, Dr. Shaya Kenzi. How are you, sir? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you very much for joining us. My we're very happy. We are very happy to have you as our guest this afternoon. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what has been the secret? You, you, you always keep looking young and young and young and young. And this afternoon again, I can see you looking very, 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 very <laughs> refreshingly young. So <laughs> I will be keeping fit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thank God because it can only be God. <laughs> okay. So, and how's the last one month been? Have you been able to keep safe? Have you been, what have you been up to? Seriously and sincerely, I cannot say it's been easy. It's, it's not been easy because I've never used to sitting down idle like this. And uh, I know. It's so, <laughs> so it's so tough. It's so hard. But what can you do? You have to survive. So safety first. <laughs> That's true. So how do you see the whole... COVID-19, um, lockdown, even the, the the disease itself, how did you receive the message and what has been your thoughts on it? What are the yeah. lessons that you've learned? It's like, to me, it's still like a dream. Like, I'm dreaming. Like, this can be real. I've never had or I've never seen, well, I'm sure anybody in my generation has never seen a thing like this. And uh, I'm like, wow, can this really happen? It has really, really humbled me, so to say. Mm. It has really humbled me. It has made me know that, um, that it is only God that is, uh, you know, or, or, or movable or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. It's been very, very, uh, it's, 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 it's a very good lesson to learn. So mm. it makes me know that, yes. We have a God that is uh, above everything, above all, above everybody. And what, what would be your message to your fans and viewers uh, watching you from different parts of the world? Well, my very first message is that they should keep keeping safe, keep staying safe, because uh, it is whoever is alive that will say, oh, I have a... Uh, something like that you can say you have a plan though it is very difficult for anybody to make a, a plan at this moment the only thing is that we just have to be prayerful mm. and keep hoping keep praying even for the government for our mm. frontliners that's the doctors the nurses and other people that are you know taking care of the sick and we keep praying for them because we kind of now appreciate them more Maybe it's like we made, we've taken them for granted before, and right now we know that, oh my God, these people are working. They are, 
nowadays they are working tirelessly to sit to 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 to, to uh, the COVID nineteen patients and uh, educating the uh, general public to stay safe. So I would say that everybody should please stay safe, abide by the laws of uh, the land, and uh, you know. Don't go against the law at this time because it's like everybody is kind of uh, touchy, everybody is, uh, you know, anxious, everybody is angry, kind of. And uh, we must know how to go about things at this moment. We need to be very, very careful with where we go, what we do, and everything. And uh, we have to be hygienically very, very aware. We need to. They tell us, wash hands, wash hands. It's mostly important. We have to do that more regularly now. And uh, with God being our helper, this will be over soon.